I was very jealous. I heard um, that there was a SNL children's talent show. There sure was. It was pretty delightful, I got to say. <laughs> um, I, think it was, I think it was Tina's uh, brainchild. And then uh -huh. he, he got our older kids to get together and plan it. And um, as, as you can imagine, it was, it was, it was pretty great. So this was mostly sort of my era, uh, women of SNL and their children doing a talent yeah. show on Zoom. Yeah, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, Rachel Dratch, Anna Gasteyer, Paula Pell, Emily Spivey, and myself. And, and um, all four of your children perform? No, mine were feeling a little shy that day. My youngest two performed. They claimed that they had um, jokes, which is always a little scary because that's yeah, terrifying. improvised. Um, but they just ended up doing a lot of bickering in costumes for a while. I think my son was dressed as a, as a hamburger and he was bickering with my daughter who was holding a sword. So, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Pretty run of the mill. And um, you have a fair amount of wigs at your home. Yes. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be happy to hear that. <laughs> you're one of our fine, you're one of our nation's finest wig actors. I, I don't think you would uh, argue that fact. I, w I'm really grateful to, um, hold that moniker i i personally love a wig i really love a wig and i uh we did a we did a, a zoom birthday party for our good friend paula pell recently and the wigs the wigs were came out flying the wigs were flying the wigs were flying yeah i i i i don't know i can't remember what my character's name was anymore but at some point i had um i had what's the the uh, merit i had a merit a wig on from from uh brave, from brave. But yeah. it's so long and red that it did. I I looked nude, and then um, somehow we decided that she was a, um, she was like um, Carol Baskin, but for dogs. So she had <laughs> a, dog, a dog sanctuary. She was Got pretty it. hateable. She was really hateable. That's good. I see. These are. It's fun to do a talent show and find new characters. Yeah, that's. Listen, I got time, Seth. That's that's what, that's what I do with my time. <laughs> Uh, you, uh, I was wondering what you think. Have you watched any of the SNL at homes? Because I, I watched them Saturday oh. and uh, I found it so, it's also fascinating to me, especially because there's a way they're doing SNL now that you and I have never experienced. Are you yeah. at all jealous that you uh, don't get, I mean, again, like it's a, for a bad reason that they're doing it, but it does seem like it's bringing out some real creativity. I think it's, I think it's lovely. Um, and I, I loved the very first episode um, for that. I felt like it really held on to that spirit. It reminded me so much of that spirit of when we worked at the show, you know, I mean, yeah. when we worked there, it was, I, you know, after September 11th, um, I remember having to come into the writer's room and um, figure out what we were going to do in light of what was going on. I remember the day that they said, hey, there's anthrax in the building and we had a show that week and we lost our host and then our host came back. I mean, these things all started flooding back in my head of like, oh yeah, we, we, we kept working. And there was a looseness and um, a joy and a goofiness in, in, those, in the, those episodes. And then I, and, and seeing Keenan in a blanket as a costume was like maybe my favorite. Yeah, Keenan in a blanket's always gonna be a winner. <laughs> It's it's top of top of my list, but I but I have to say it's pretty amazing to turn it on. You know, the next time they do a, a Saturday Night Live at home and people, I mean, Brad Pitt playing Fauci, and I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's all so beautiful. Everybody pitching in and doing it. Seeing Tom Hanks host that first week, um, getting to meet people's cats. It's it's beautiful. I I it's the spirit of the show that I I genuinely genuinely love the most. Yeah, and I really have a ton of respect for what they're doing because like you said, like after 9-11, we were really uh, lucky to be together and the fact that they're doing it apart uh, so that other people can um, feel that closeness is a really, uh, really sweet, great undertaking. Um, and it, yeah. I heard another, um, I, I believe this was, uh, again, the brainchild of, of Tina Fey's children uh, that you adopted is the themed a uh, quarantine party, dinner party. The themed dinner party is the, I mean, I was so impressed with the initial um, idea. Tina sent a video of her girls putting together like a, a, a themed airline dinner. So you have- How does this work? So you have, um, you have a flight attendant 
and the flight attendant comes around. Everyone's everyone's VIP. Everyone gets moved to first class. Gotcha. So you're just sitting in chairs. Sitting in, in chairs. Everyone gets an iPad, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone gets their order taken. And then your dinner's brought to you. And then you have an iPad and possibly a glass of wine. And then you watch your show and eat in <laughs> silence. <laughs> It was magical. And the kids love it. Oh, they loved it. it. I've never seen a quieter dinner in my house. We actually didn't, we didn't, the kids, the kids used the, the iPads. We just sat and had a really nice quiet dinner, but um, oh, it, was, it was pretty awesome. But I mean, the, you know, my, I have to say, there are so many incredible ideas going around on the internet and, and from other kids. And I love the way everyone's just just figuring day by day out. From that, my kids are obsessed with Disneyland. So then they decided to have a Disneyland themed dinner one night and we had, um, they reenacted the rides. And then I guess you can go on the site where it takes you through each ride. And my, my kids like acted out the, the, the thing on cars where the cars were coming and talking to us. And then we got in the bathtub at one point and did Jungle Cruise. It was <laughs> Uh, well, I'm so happy to hear how well you're getting through this. Uh, I'm so excited for everybody to see the Willoughby's, and it is always such a delight to talk to you. Thanks. My Seth, God, I love you. Me. I hope you're well. I hope uh, and I'm sending love to everybody. Stay well. All right. Love from our whole family to yours. See you soon, Maya. Okay. Bye.